hello friends welcome back to my channel today we will learn how to create our own static library okay and that can be customized according to your requirement so let's get started okay so uh, you can give any name based on your uh, convenience i am given my static library and uh, we have to create one more class here and there i am going to write uh, some small code and this is only for sample so i will create uh, uh, a small functionality into that you can give any name uh, of your class so i am giving i am going to concatenate uh, uh, the two string uh, okay and class and it should be public that is very very important because i am going to use from another project so let's get started i am going to write it is very a small project uh, just i will show you the concept okay okay so done uh, our small function and then uh, i want to show you uh, once we will compile right then we will create it will create one dot a file so uh, from where we will get the library you have to go here uh, derive data and then uh, you have to see here so let's uh, i will wanted to show you actually uh, so uh, once you will compile right and then you will see here see let see the uh, dot a file will create here and i choose in here the the iphone so that's why it's created you can use uh, a simulator and as well as iphone based on your requirement so i created uh, both but now i am going to use uh, only for uh, simulator now so i copied here that uh, the full both file and then i copied uh, into this into my uh, another folder and and you can give any name on that so this is not a library name just uh, i kept a folder i uh, will show you uh, how you can use also so now i'm creating new pro project where we can uh, use that our uh, static library dot if i so uh, you can give any name i'm just giving uh, the random name okay and in this project i am i will use okay so uh, just i'm going to compile here uh, after creating the project link uh, i will show you one very important uh, point here that you uh, have to go to the uh, build phase and before build phase i'm just going to copy uh, the uh, static library here into the my application okay and then uh, another important you have to uh, go to build phase and you have to add your library here the static library it will be here so just dot a file you have to keep here okay and Uh, so you can see here also in general tab uh, it is all also added here and one more thing very important you have to go to build setting uh, after that and then you have to set the path of your uh, library okay so for that uh, from from where you will get the path you will get the path uh, the search path you have to go and search here uh, search path and just you have to copy uh, from here actually the library uh, search path you can see here once you'll double click on that you can give get the path uh, you'll see the path here uh, no no just uh, just double click on then you can see the uh, bottom here just 
will copy here and then you have to add for the compiling because this is a static library so uh, while compile time only the uh, compiler is required proper path so here is the path and uh, that's it uh, so configuration part is done now uh, it should be available into your uh, uh, the view controller uh, thing view controller class and then uh, here you can import uh, your library name that is the static library so now uh, you can use here and uh, so here you can see here this is the uh, library name which is going to uh, import here okay and that's it now you can uh, directly uh, uh, use here so i'm writing here the output because that our uh, that static library will return the value concatenate concatenate value so let me know in comment uh, my concatenate spelling is correct or wrong So you can see here the output will be uh, Mantosh Kumar. Okay, uh, so just give a space between that, and then you can see here uh, it's uh, printing. That's it, guys. So uh, uh, this is this is all about the static library. It's very easy now. Uh, thank you. Bye bye.